Hey everyone, uh, this is Jonathan from uh, Healthy Places uh, Mental Illness and Relationships blog. I'm here in Glacier National Park in Montana on an absolutely beautiful day. Um, what we're going to talk about today is the ability to have a thriving social existence uh, without having a successful romantic life. Um, as I mentioned in uh, this blog post, uh, dating and I have not had the best of uh, relationships recently. Um, part of that is uh, due to my illness, and part of it is due to me being picky, and you know, all sorts of other other factors that we don't need to get into. Um, but I'm here in the park uh, with two of my best friends and their kids. Um, and really the important thing uh, when traveling, when just being with other people, especially when you get to be, I'm 37 now, uh, most of my friends are uh, married, most of them have kids, um, is just to not let yourself feel like a third wheel if you don't want to be. Um, make sure that uh, you're carving out your own spot um, within a group um, and that uh, you really allow yourself um, to be social. Um, I can find, I find that it's been very limiting if I've ever said, you know, I, the only people I should hang out with are other people who are single um, or I should just be by myself. Um, and even though I enjoy my alone time, um, there's something really great and really nice about uh, being in a group of people. Um, so I'm here with uh, some amazing friends. Uh, they're right back there. Uh, one of their kids is being sworn in uh, for uh, the Junior Ranger program here, which is adorable. Um, and I hope that uh, you guys, even if uh, sometimes uh, dating can be pretty hard, uh, still manage to uh, put a, a good positive social life together. It's really important.